Welcome to Dynamics 365, Marketing Lists and Quick Campaigns, Part 1, Marketing Lists. Okay, so within Dynamics 365, within the Marketing section, we've got Marketing Lists and Quick Campaigns. In this video, we're going to be looking at Marketing Lists and getting a deep dive into how Marketing Lists work. So clicking into Marketing Lists, I can see I've got the view of my active Marketing Lists up and running. Um, and in this list, I can see there's a few key fields. There's obviously the name of the list, there's the type of the list, whether it's static or dynamic, and then there's the member type, whether it's contact, account, or lead. We're going to be focusing on contacts and accounts in this video. So what I can do is I can create a new marketing list from here. And if I call this um, Power Apps AMS 2023, and I'm going to say that this list is a static list. So for now, I'm just going to rename uh, and put a suffix at the end called static. And the difference between a static and a dynamic list is that a static list, you add and remove members to it manually. Um, so you can do that from here, which we'll see in a moment, or you can do it from the relevant account or contact record itself. Whereas a dynamic um, list is built dynamically from specific data on those underlying records. So for example, give me all of our um, customers who spend more than a thousand pounds with us per year, for example. Um, give us all of our contacts who live in London. So all the different uh, approach to handling the type of members that are added to the list. You can pop a purpose into here as well. So if we call this kind of marketing the convention, and then this is going to be targeted at accounts. Okay, I'm going to leave all the rest of the fields for now and just click save. Because on this video, I want to focus on how we can add members into these lists and manage these lists. So I've now got my list saved. I've got a members tab within here, and I've got manage members up at the top with a little drop down. In the drop down, I can see I can add them using a lookup, using advanced find, or I can remove using advanced find or evaluate using advanced find. So we're going to look at add using lookup first. So within here, because it's a static list, I could just control um, which accounts I wanted to add. So I'm going to add that one there, that one there, and that one there. You get your records up at the top that you've added, click on add, and it will add those accounts as members into a marketing list. Click into members and we can see here now the three that we've just added and if we were to click through to the account name then when the account form is loaded we can click on the related tab and we can click on the marketing list down at the bottom and it will show us all the marketing lists that this account is um, associated with and so we can click back to our power apps ams 2023 marketing list so that's one way that you can add the marketing list members to the marketing list. The other way is using advanced find. So within advanced find, this works in a very similar way to usual. Now, one of the quickest ways to do this is to build your own save view first, um, um, either a personal view or, um, uh, or a system view, and you could use this as the basis. So if you wanted to um, send this to all of your active accounts to begin with, um, then when you click on active accounts, it will bring view filters through. Let's say you wanted to send this to um, any active accounts in Halifax or over 10K, then this is one that we've used in a previous video. We can see that we've got the postcode begins with Halifax and the open revenue is greater than £10,000. You can click on find. It'll find all of those that are um, falling within that criteria and we can click add all or add only selected. So if you click on the little tick next to the ones that you want, it will add only those selected records. And so we can click add only selected. and it will have added those four records into here now. So we've now got seven records in our marketing list. So whether this is an account or a contact, the principle is exactly the same for how you can manage a static list. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a dynamic list. So this time I'm going to call it dynamic. And I'm going to make this a list targeted at contacts. So click on save. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Manage Members, and I have no drop-down this time. I've just got Manage Members, and the only way is to specify a query. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at um, Active Contacts to begin with. And I'm going to specify any with a postcode. begins with Halifax. 
So there's 25 records within here. And I don't have the option to add selected because it's only the people who pass this criteria. So this is where you need to think really carefully. Now, if you've got contacts or accounts that you want to add onto a marketing list based on what they've bought from you in the past, you need some way to find um, on that contact or account record a field which specifies what product they've bought from you or service they've bought from you. So it brings you back to your data model here, which may need some configuration when you're using your dynamic marketing list to be able to make sure you get the right people from your team marketing list. But if we click use query here, then that is adding now those 25 members onto our marketing list. And there we go, we've got a list of them in front of us. Once you've got your dynamic marketing list, it may be that you want to freeze this at a point in time. So maybe in the build up to the conference, um, you want to um, create the list dynamically, but then for the final pass, let's say when you're going to do your name badges or whatever it might be, you want to copy it to a static list. And you can do that from within here, in here. You can just click copy to static. Do you want to save the dynamic list as a static list? Yes, I do. And that will um, be directed to here. It will date stamp this, and you could, if you wanted to, just prefix this with static. It already puts a date stamp in there, which is really helpful because that's the point at which it was created. So we click on save and that's been updated. So finally, um, within uh, the contact or the account record, you can add them to a list manually. Now, obviously, if it's a dynamic list, it will not display in your list of marketing lists that you can specify. So if we just go to contacts within here now, and just select a contact that has no postcode so we know it would have been included in the HX query that we just did. If I add to marketing list and just hit enter within here, then the marketing list is not in there. If I search on power, it's not in there because it was a, a, a dynamic marketing list. Okay. But what I could do is I could add this to the 30th anniversary invite, which is a static list. Click add. come out of here, take a look at marketing lists, and we can see they've now been added to the 30th anniversary invite. Click through to there, and you can see all of the members in there as well. So whether you do it from the individual contact or account record, or whether you invite members into your list from the marketing list itself, um, is very flexible within the system, and it's very easy to follow the trail of which accounts on which marketing lists and from the marketing list itself, go and take a look at the members and see who's been added. Um, and it's a great way to manage your lists throughout the system. And you can have those as um, lists that everyone can view, or you can have lists by owner as well. So obviously, when I'm, I'm the owner of this list, when I click on marketing list, I can see just my active marketing list. So if people want to maintain their own lists, for example, a uh, uh, you know, business development manager or account manager or whatever it might be in your business, there's many flexible options to be able to do that.